Cats will have a nice high vantage point to look out from. This is why they'll jump up onto windowsills, tables, counters, shoulders, and even a nice fireplace mantle if they are able to. Cats also like to stretch their claws by scratching things and chasing each other, and it usually ends up with them getting into a bit of mischief, and as funny as it might be, it's not always the best thing for us humans. Which is why you should consider getting a cat tree, and why we are getting a cat tree. It's made by Kinda Cool. They are sponsoring this video, so thank you to them for that. There's a link in the description of this video. It'll bring you right to their store on Amazon. You can check it out for yourself, see how you like it. Uh, we're pretty excited. In fact, it just arrived here at our door. Uh, so let's bring it in. Uh, we're gonna open it up, put it together, and yeah, we'll see on the cat's blanket too. It arrived pretty fast for us because it is through Amazon, so that was nice. First impression is that it's a little bit heavy. I think it's actually a good thing. I hope that, that means it'll be a little more stable for the cats because ours do like to uh, jump around and get a little rambunctious for sure. So I'm sure that they will test it. All right, we got it in here. Let's uh, open it up and see what we've got. So I opened the main box, which had the product box inside of it, which contained all of the materials needed for this cat tree, which is kind of cool to borrow the name from the brand here. <laughs> of course, directions are included, which lists all the parts that are included in the package and will be needed for the cat tree. All the parts were labeled with a letter or a number, which coincided with the directions, and that made it pretty easy to follow along. So once I pulled everything apart, I found the hardware that came with it. I kind of organized those by size so it'd be easier to find when I'm going through and putting the pieces together. And then I proceeded to install the first column, which was just putting a bolt through the bottom, lining the column on top of that, tightening it in by hand, and then using the wrench that comes with it to tighten it a little bit more snugly. I noticed that the fabric folds over the edges of the main platform all the way around the perimeter, which is where the weight will be. Um, we'll give it a nice wide stance to make it less likely to rock, so I like that. And then I was right on to the next column. I'm just making sure I'm grabbing the right piece and going to the right place with it. And the directions make that pretty clear and straightforward. Next up, I screwed the spring toy into the oval platform and then I screwed the oval platform onto the column with a bolt sticking up until snug. Next up, I built the cat cave and I was having a little trouble getting these screws started um, with just one column. So then I put all three of them in there so that it would hold its shape. Um, and then I had more luck getting these screws started and I was able to get them all in there and tighten them right up. And then I installed the column that would support the cat cave. There's a bolt that goes in the bottom of the cat cave, screws right into the column and then it was good to go. To do the scratcher board, I first attached the L brackets to the scratcher board. Then I aligned the other ends of the L brackets to the bottom of the cat cave in the pre-drilled holes and tightened them up. To install the first scratching post, I first had to screw one of the threaded rods into this column here. The scratching post screwed into that and then another threaded rod screwed into the top of the scratching post. The rectangular platform went over that threaded rod. I had to get a bolt up through the top of the cat cave and I found I could only do it if I did it one at a time. So the cat cave first and then up through the rectangular platform and then it was good and I was able to put the next column on. The square platform screws right into the top of this column and this is where the bed will go. The bed is removable and machine washable which is a nice perk. Last up I just put this tray over the first scratching post, the other scratching post on top of that and then the final column on top of that and then just had to stick these toys into that top column and then the installation was complete. At this point Bubbles had seen enough and she's ready to test it out for herself so she leaped across Went in to smell a couple of the toys, got a couple pets from dad. Um, then I had to move it against the wall and she of course stayed on there because she loves any kind of moving surfaces. <laughs> it fits right into this space, which is cool. Uh, it's nice and sturdy, doesn't rock or anything. I like that and bubbles here seems to approve. So of course I like that too. All right, so we've got the cat tree all built, put together. Um, didn't take too long, um, I'd say more pieces than I expected, uh, but kind of think of it like a, like a jigsaw puzzle. All the pieces do go together, um, and nothing was really kind of difficult to figure out. In terms of aesthetics, I think it fits the space pretty well. Um, you know, rather modest, not doesn't take over the whole place. It does feel pretty sturdy, like it's definitely not going to tip over anytime soon. And uh, our cats are starting to get used to it. Cats like it, obviously, is kind of the most important part. And they have been liking it. Bubbles have been playing in the cat cave at the bottom. We've both been taking naps. <laughs> up top. I'm enjoying the nice bands point to look out for them using the scratcher and also the toys. Like I said, if you are interested in the product, feel free to check it out for yourself. There's a link in the description of this video, um, right at the top of the description. So it'll bring you right to their product page on Amazon. Um, see for yourself how you like it. Like I said, they just sponsored this video, of course, so thank you them for that. And thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers. What do you think, Simon? Do you like it, bud? The cats are checking it out themselves. Hey, bubs. Simon's a very, Simon's a very tall cat.